Hey guys, uh, this is some more plants I'm going to go through real quick with you. Uh, this is uh, yellow butch teas. I'll try to go through here pretty quick so you can guys get it and the video won't be too long. Uh, this is the uh, BOG 02 Eyes. Um, red daisy cutters. I've picked some off these already. This is the Buchloka cross with uh, Pimenta de Nia peach phenotype. Uh, come on, Lee. Uh, see a little bit of the purple on the pods. There's purple on here. On these. Some of the purple stays, so that's pretty cool. Um, then you got the good old butch tea. And as you see, the weather does change the pod shapes. You look at that one, and then same plant. Look at that one. Uh, this is a Savannah 7 Cross Supremo. Um, there's one down here. Let's see. Some more over here, here, here. Little ones. Um, Jay's peach. This is a SR seven. Pod crossed with scorpion. I don't know if I get more pods on here. There's a little one showing up. I don't know if I pulled them all off. Here's just more of a round type. I think I pulled most of them off. There's some little ones. Um, there's the uh, pepper dew from. South Africa, sweet, no heat. Just Tabasco used for just different seasonings. The uh, red bootla from uh, Chad Solowski. Solowski. I always mess up the names of everybody and all my friends. I'm sorry, guys. Um, these things are super hot. Um, and this is a hot white scorpion tongue. Uh, got this from my friend Christopher Phillips. I've made a lot of a uh, pepper uh, vinegar sauce to pour on some Georgia collard greens. These things are great for that. Um, just go down this row right here. This is a uh, uh, Fatale cross with a Chloe's Dragon. Really cool looking pods. Um, this is a uh, Monster Infinities. This is um, this is uh, not Mad Ballsy, Mean Red Cross uh, from Christopher Phillips. Pretty big gnarly pods. Um, oh man, I forgot what this one was. This is a, this is a, this is a Congo SRs, I believe. Yep. Uh, this is like the third go around. On them, uh, yellow butch teas. I've gotten a couple of true phenotypes off here, and other ones have been more elongated. Um, they all taste the same, though. Uh, this is uh, Burmese Nagas. Um, this is, uh, I'm trying to remember now, I'm trying to do all this off, off the cuff, just remember, remember, this is a brain strain cross with a Buchalokia, uh, and this is, uh, one of Grant's varieties from Jungle Rain, um, 
over here. This is a this is a Croatian sweet uh, paprika plant. After I pulled most of the stuff off this, that's another paprika, and that's a, just a a bell egg for my wife. Uh, Jimmy Nardellos. Uh, from seed stock from my buddy uh, Ed Kohler Naga Canario, my favorite, wife's favorite. Uh, very sweet, no heat. Uh, of course, you know jalapenos and the Mexico 64Ls. Uh, it's not all about super hots. Um, in uh, Anaheim's, Anaheim's, Anaheim's. Another one of Grant's um, crosses is Naga Morch cross with Tabasco. It's actually one of my favorite plants. Very cool, nice big plant. Produces a lot of pods. Um, and Trinidad Marugas. I'm coming around. Um, Yellow infinities. I happen to see them. Just had a lot of yellow infinities. I don't know. Great tasting pods, so pretty good heat. Uh, this is the uh, EO3 GMs. It's one of my crosses this year. Um, probably gonna stick with this one and continue on to grow this one next year been happy with it uh, another yellow uh, infinity uh, this is the, the, the t10 jm been so so um, don't know if I'll you know stay with this cross um, the other one's got better feedback this one's still good but just so so and it, it took a while to get get going I just I don't know uh, more yellow infinity, uh, Buchalokia, I mean, sorry, brain strain across Buchalokia Asime. Uh, these are uh, seven pot Jonas across Butch T. Uh, and as you tell, they're only like F3, F4, so they still throw all kinds of different phenotypes, as you can see. So, you know, I'm just kind of pick and choose the look you're going for and try to grow that next year. Uh, this is a red ricotta that just took a beating on this side of the house. Like maybe too much sun, humidity. The ones up front and doing better. Um, Reaper in a bucket. Um, you know, Carolina Reaper in the five gallon buckets. Doing pretty good on this. Not like the, the Reapers on the other side in ground. Way bigger, way more productive. So, if you can guys go in ground, that's the way to do it. Um, yellow uh, seven pot, you just can't go wrong with these varieties. I mean, they're they're awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, purple boot, now getting a little buds. Uh, the off type bubble gum, as you can see, no big calyx, uh, no bleeding. And more of the Moroga shape. Um, yeah, it's time to, to hit these boys up with some magnesium, some calcium, get them going dark green again. Uh, I let them dry out a good bit. Uh, we've just had so much rain. Um, last couple months so um but uh we'll take a quick look at the other one the other ones and uh and then we'll be done all right there's some other pubescent varieties put in the shade finally some of these are starting to stick forever, man. They would fall off. 
just because of the heat and humidity down here. And I finally got one to stick. Look at that. Very happy. So. And the only only pot on there and the only flower. So, I mean, I, I don't know. They just don't like the humidity. do better in Europe and climates that are not, not as hot and humid. So, awesome flowers. Purple flowers. Most of the pubescents are, are purple. Um, but, uh, that's it for these, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.